module 2 overview of power bi before we start hand on activity on power bi let us understand it in little more in depth power bi is a business analytics tool provided by microsoft using this tool users can analyze their data through interactive visualizations it provides self service business intelligence capabilities to its end users using which they can create reports and dashboards themselves along with desktop based interface which is commonly used to create reports it also provides cloud based bi service known as power bi service it is an in memory tool which holds data within itself and allow allows data preparation and sanitization now let us look at the components of the power bi so power bi has eight components first is power query it's a very powerful component of power bi used to search access and transform data sources power pivot is used to data modeling for in memory analysis power view using this component users can build visualization layer and create reports using power map you know data can be represented in a geographically uh, geographical manner Power BI service is a cloud based platform used to share data views, reports and workbooks. Power BI Q&A is a very powerful feature Microsoft Power BI has to offer. Users can ask any question from Power BI using natural language. Data management gateway, periodic data refreshes can be scheduled using this component. Data catalog queries can be reused and metadata can be used for search functionality now let us look at the architecture of power bi and understand it in in more detailed manner power bi architecture has three phases data integration in an organization multiple sources are being used to store data this data can be in different format as well all this data needs to be extracted from these different sources that is database or servers etc this data is then integrated in a standard format and stored in a common area in power bi called staging area all this is done through etl format extract transform and load this integrated data is then processed sanitized and cleaned to be used for analysis purpose once this data is cleaned it can be used to apply business rules and can be transformed into presentable format all this will be done at a staging area and called data processing once this data is processed all complex calculations are done at the staging area this data can be loaded into power bi and can be used to create various visualizations users can create reports and dashboards to present the data now let us look at the power bi port product portfolio so there are five products power bi has to offer power bi desktop is a free downloadable application from microsoft to create reports power bi service is a cloud based platform used to share reports dashboards within the organization Power BI Premium is a dedicated cloud based platform with greater scale and performance with capable capacity based licenses. Power BI Report Server is an on premise reporting solution offering connectivity to 80 plus data sources. Power BI Embedded offers to embed interactive reports and allows to connect with multiple data sources also offer custom visual libraries now since we are aware about power bi and components and architecture let's, let us interact with the tool directly and look at it in detail so once you open power bi power bi desktop this screen will pop up you can start loading the data by using data get data option 
or open recently opened reports and can go through some of the videos available here provided by Power BI team. So currently let me just close this window and have a closer look at the tool. This white screen is called as canvas where the visual elements uh, like graphs, tables, etc. will be placed. Power BI desktop has three views uh, which are uh, report view like this canvas. Then we have table view where you can see the loaded data. It also offers some of the transformation features and third is model view uh, used to create relationship between the data sets defined in table view. Power BI can identify relationship automatically if two columns are having same name in two different tables. Users can define them manually as well uh, using manage uh, relationship option which we will go through later on. Let us now look at the data, uh, uh, data sources we can get from. So, in home menu we have a get data option. So, if you double click on it a window will open which will list down and show you the entire options which are available here to, to load the data from and majorly it is getting categorized as all which will give you the complete list, file, source files such as excel, csv, xml, json etc. Databases systems such as SQL Server, Oracle Database, IBM DB2, MySQL, SAP, HANA etc. Microsoft Fabric like Power BI data, uh, data sets, data flows, warehouses etc. Which is a new introduction uh, of this, this, this category is getting uh, introduced newly. Power Platform, Power BI uh, data flows, common data services etc. Azure services such as SQL database, SQL data warehouse, BLOB storage and data lake store. Online services are uh, like non Azure services such as Google Analytics, Salesforce, Reports, Facebook, Microsoft Exchange etc. And other miscellaneous data sources types such as Microsoft Exchange, Active Directory, Hadoop will fall under others category. So in total I guess uh, it, it, it gives you 80 plus uh, connectors, pre-built connectors from which we can uh, load the data from into Power BI.